come up a few times now, but uh, I just wanted to show um, a, a special case for wall junctions. Um, we have this project where uh, there are walls that are just kind of intersecting really weird. Uh, and some of that is that there's these uh, sort of extra thick walls. And, and it kind of makes more sense, uh, I suppose, once we go into uh, the floor plan view. We could see these rooms with the outside walls running um, running square and the inside room is, is sort of ovalish. Um, and the first thing I noticed was that the wall junctions here uh, are segmented out. Um, and if I can grab this wall, hopefully, too. Um, and originally, the wall junctions were not all coming to a single point. Uh, so the first thing I did is I, I sort of reconfigured the room so that the oval was based on these door jam locations. Um, the next thing that I did was to um, take these intersecting walls here and just drop the junction order down. And for some reason, I always drop from 8, which is the default, to 6. Um, but once I do that on those portions of the wall and then look at the 3D model, um, we'll see that those uh, these walls that run perpendicular here uh, are actually cleaning up because they're being cut after these walls join together. So the junction order just basically says which walls join first. In this case, the walls that define the boundary of the room join first. Uh, the other ones join afterwards. And then we want to make sure that all of these walls, uh, the reference point or reference line comes to the same point uh, every time these join together. Uh, so that was uh, sort of the big tip here. Uh, the next thing I've been working out is on this oval room, we also have these arcs. So it's sort of a compound arc. Uh, and you can see it still needs a little bit of finesse. Um, but what I found is that uh, using an ARCHICAD 23, we can actually arc our beams. Uh, now we can't have curving and arcing beams. So basically what I've done is I've drawn a beam, se beam segment from this point to this point. Uh, so it's taking uh, that arc and sort of segmenting it out into individual segments. And you can see that it uh, kind of needs a little bit more finesse to figure out where these come together to eliminate this extra little line. Uh, but for preliminary layout and, and concept uh, of this profile, um, it actually works really well for modeling that, uh, that trim, that arcing trim around a curve. Uh, it's not something we run into very frequently in our projects. Uh, in fact, this is the first time we've actually seen this issue as far as I know. Um, but it's kind of cool that we're taking advantage of that new feature of the arcing beams with the custom rotatable uh, end conditions so we can kind of heal these together uh, more smoothly.